The true riches are the heavenly treasures and it is attained only by practicing charity. Whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Dear brothers and sisters, famous author Haley Catherine says, Your abundance is not measured by what you have. It is created by what you share. In today's gospel, Jesus narrates a parable about a rich man who amassed wealth in abundance but lacked the virtue of charity. He chose to fill his storeroom with grains and wealth rather than sharing them with the needy. Jesus calls him fool because he failed to collect the true riches which would help him to attain salvation. The true riches are the heavenly treasures and it is attained only by practicing charity. The attitude of the rich man is found in us too. Rather, it is more evident in today's world, where individualism and selfishness are at work. For instance, sometimes we accumulate wealth in such a quantity which we do not require in real life. Instead of sharing them with those who are in need, we keep on storing them. We must remember the fact that if we are, we have the responsibility to share them with others who do not have. Sharing what we have with the other never makes us poor, rather we become rich. In 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 6 we read, Whoever sows generously will also reap generously. While sharing what we have with others, we express our love and care for them, which is the primary duty of every Christian. When we give generously to the needy, God will bless us because he loves the cheerful giver and he will never abandon him. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 24 and 25 says, One gives freely, yet grows all the richer. Another withholds what he should give and only suffers want. Whoever brings blessing will be enriched, and one who waters will himself be watered. None of us can say that we have nothing to offer to the other. Because God has blessed all of us with something unique. All of us are not rich in terms of money, but we can still be charitable. We can give our time, energy, resources, skills, prayers and many more things to others. For this, all that we need is a kind heart and the willingness to share. When we do this, we cultivate the virtue of charity and this merit will gain us the heavenly treasures. May the Lord give us the grace to be generous and sensitive towards others. Amen.